Tafoltro Ivarash, and it's time now to introduce you to Luan Parl, an award winning singer songwriter from Wicklow. In actual fact, Luan made her first public performance at the age of six, and she signed her first record deal at the tender age of 12. And since then, she has worked with some of the world's most successful songwriters and producers. And now she's passing on her songwriting skills to a whole new generation of young people. Helen McInerney has her story. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Luan Parle and I am a full-time musician and singer-songwriter. Singer-songwriter Luan Parle is in St. Declan's Community so, um, College in Kilmac Thomas in County Waterford for a songwriting workshop. So it's quite a brave thing to do, you know, to, to actually get out there and start performing your own songs. This award-winning singer-songwriter has partnered with IMRO, the Irish Music Rights Organisation, to bring songwriting workshops to schools all over the country. I thought it was something quite different for the students. I thought it would be a nice opportunity for them to come together, to collaborate, get an idea of the ins and outs of composing a song. For Luan, it's an opportunity to pass on the knowledge she has gained from working in the industry from a very young age. I just loved to sing. I was a kid who just loved to sing. Um, and I started to learn guitar, I think, when I was around nine, maybe. Um, and uh, my dad, of course, was a musician, so I used to love to, to sing with him. Luan was just 12 years old when she sang on Kenny Live. A big welcome, please, for Luan Parle. I even remember the call actually, um, it was uh, Fiona was the researcher's name and she called the house and I couldn't believe it, she said that uh, Pat wants to invite you onto the show to perform uh, a song <laughs> and I couldn't believe it, I was shocked. So uh, I do, I remember it all very clearly, uh, I remember beforehand I had a dressing room and my dad was with me in the dressing room uh, and I was a little bit nervous of course, you know, but as a child you're not thinking of the extent of what it is, you know, you don't think of how many viewers it has. I was just, it was a stage and <laughs> I was getting to sing. As a result of the Kenny Live appearance, Luann signed a record deal. Then Nashville came knocking on her door. I recorded the album, it was called First Impressions, and that went across to the Cannes Film Festival. And it was heard by a couple of representatives from a record label in Nashville. They flew over and they met with um, my dad and I in the Kalani Court Hotel. And basically they wanted to buy the contract uh, and that, that was the big decision then at the time. It would have meant I would have had to uh, go straight over to the States, over to Nashville. Uh, my dad was a plumbing and heating contractor, he had his own business, uh, there was four kids and so he would have had to move with me uh, for a minimum of three months and get me set up. and. Uh, so it was a big decision for him to have to make and my mum and uh, it was leaving the family um, and who knows how things would have turned out. Uh, they, they eventually decided that the best thing to do uh, was for me to go back to school and, uh, and that was that. <laughs> and not go. And not go. Not go to Nashville. No, no Nashville. <laughs> Were you devastated? I was devastated. I was. Today Luan is philosophical about that early disappointment. I don't ever look back with any regrets. Uh, I look at it like it was a great opportunity um, and I got to do a lot of stuff. I got to record an album, I got to tour uh, and I got to learn so much from a very young age. And so I took that with me then. Um, and I'm glad because who knows, it might have worked out but it might not have worked out and I could have ended up burnt out and you know, so I'm glad the way things worked out. But that wasn't the end of the story. Luan started to work with Sony when she was 20. 
I was signed to Elton John's uh, management label. And so through that then I got the opportunity to go to the States and I recorded an album with uh, Grammy winning producer Bill Bottrell in Mendocino, California. So that was amazing and I got to live there. I lived in a, a water tower. <laughs> I was there for almost a year back and forth and uh, again that was, that was you know, an amazing experience. If you want a career in the music industry, Luan is the first to admit that you must be able to weather the challenges and disappointments, as well as appreciate the good times. It's a tough career, isn't it? It is, it is a tough career, but um, I love it. And uh, it's, it's, not, it's not an easy, an easy road, but um, you know, there's a lot of late nights and a lot of traveling. Um, it's the music I love. I love the music and that's why I do it and, uh, and the rest you kind of, <laughs> you put up with. The popularity of social media has had a huge impact on the music industry. Everything is so instant now and with social media, you know, for example, um, today's workshop, they could post it up on Facebook and all of a sudden it could, could become like a viral, you know, um, sensation. <laughs> so, you know, it's changed so much since then. That's what happened back in 2013 when Luan held a songwriting workshop for transition year students in the Presentation Secondary School in Clonmel. Their song, My Hero, was dedicated to the memory of their teacher, Alice Strain, who had died in a car accident. But I know I won't be alone Cause you're still on my mind somehow more recently, Luan conducted a workshop in her hometown of Wicklow. I actually went to school in, uh, in the secondary school in Wicklow, which is now Colotte de Kilmanthorne. And I was, uh, again, it started off the same, the same way uh, we, we chatted about, you know, what they wanted to write about. Um, one of the girls talked about her dad, who had had a stroke five years ago. And uh, my own dad passed away in November from, from a stroke. So I was really touched by this. And um, so she spoke about her dad and she said that it was his birthday um, the previous day. And she said that he'd smiled for the first time. And I said, oh my God, this is, you know, this is amazing. So she said she would like, she, an idea for the song could be uh, about loved ones who something has happened to them uh, that they're still the same person, they're still there, but something has happened, you know, to, to, to change them slightly. So it could be a stroke, it could be Alzheimer's. And I went back to the school with the uh, producer, Gavin Ralston, to record the song with the students. So we're going to release the song in September for the Irish Heart Foundation for the Prevention of Heart Attacks and Stroke and the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland. In 2007, Luan won a Meteor Award in the Best Irish Female category. Okay, and the winner is Luan Parle. Are you looking for forgiveness in every face you see? But while she is very busy touring, she still finds time for her songwriting workshops. And judging by the reaction of the Kilmac Thomas students, she is encouraging a whole new generation of singer-songwriters to emerge. It wasn't like we just threw it together, like a lot of thought went into it, but like I never thought that I'd be able to write a song and like here it is, like you know. The figuring out of what we were going to base the song on, the idea of which we were going to attack the lyrics and what it was going to be about, the instruments used, the chords being used, it was all so varied and very methodical, like it was kind of shows how different music can be. I thought songwriting was so hard, but like the only really hard part is making up the lyrics and after that, once you use the structure that we just learned, then it was just really simple to learn a song. Yeah. But does it encourage you to write more? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to write more now after that. You know, I just enjoy being on the stage, like it's something that I really want to do. So this is a future career? Hopefully, and if not, like I'll just be happy teaching it, like it's just music is the passion, you know. A woman with a song in her heart who's certainly enjoying her work. Now just before we leave you, a reminder of our competition this evening. What we have for you is the chance to win €5,000 in cash. And wouldn't that be very nice going into the bank holiday weekend? You can save it or you can spend it. You could maybe do a makeover on your house or on your wardrobe 
or book a little break for the winter. Something really nice that would set you up, I reckon. Anyway, if you would like to be in with a chance to win this 5,000 euro, this is the question that you have to answer. Samhain is said to traditionally mark the